Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yes, I'm back with another makeup tutorial. This is my balling on a budget look. <laughs> That always makes me laugh when I say that. But yeah, this is my born on budget. This is for all you yummy mummies that wanna get like a really nice kind of natural but not natural glam look. Like this is like a kind of sultry but not too over the dark top, like dark smoky eye and with like nice kind of glowy skin. Um, but all of the products, everything that I've used are literally on a budget. So they're all really, really cheap, like drugstore products. Obviously in the UK, our drugstores are like Superdrug and Boots and places like that. Um, in the US, you could probably get these products from like Walmart, um, CVS, those kind of places. Girl, I know, I know about y'all Americans, I know. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if there's anything that you'd like to see. I'm also gonna try and put everything that I've used in the link below. Um, forgive me if I forget anything, just holler at me, holler at your girl. And just um, let me know if I've missed anything out um, and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And I'll see you guys again soon, bye. Okay guys, so this is me without any makeup on, boo. <laughs> so the first product that I'm going to use is my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Espresso. And I do like this product because it also has a spoolie at the end of it, which I find really useful to brush my brows. So I'm just gonna use that to fill in my brows. It's not the easiest product I've ever used to fill in brows, but it does the job and it's nice and cheap. Work, 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 work. You see me heavy, work, 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 work. You see me do me there, 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 there. So now I'm just finishing off brushing my brows and brushing spoolie through. They look quite decent to me. Um, so now I'm going to go in my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the colour Toffee. And I just put it on the back of my hand to warm it up. And then I just use a brush and use the product on the back of my hand and then start applying it to conceal around my brows. I love this product because it's so cheap. Um, I literally got it from my local hair shop. It was literally like four pounds and it's got really amazing coverage and it's good for what I need to use it for. I do also like to go under my brows with my L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I know some of you might be thinking what's the point in doing both, but I do find my LA Girl Pro Concealer is always a good base for highlighting, but I don't actually like it that light if that makes sense and I also don't want the want it to be too cool from the foundation so I just like to use both and blend them together to get the perfect colour for me. I then just use the same L'Oreal True Match um, colour foundation and just use that above my brows um, just to have a bit of a cooler colour on the brow just so they're not too bright above. And those are my brows done. So next I'm going to go in with my Seaweed Mattifying Day Cream from The Body Shop. And if you have oily or combination skin, then girl, this is for you. If you don't really like using primers and you want a day cream that's going to keep you matte, then this is going to work really well for you. It mattes up the skin and I basically use it as a primer just to prep me ready for any kind of foundation that I'm going to use next. Now I'm going in with my L'Oreal True Match Foundation in Cappuccino and using my Real Techniques buffing brush and just buffing that foundation into my skin. So I think I'm happy with that. So next I'm going to go back in with that LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toffee and I'm just going to highlight under my eyes, my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin and my forehead and just start the highlighting process. Then I'm going to use my beauty blender to blend all of that out. And just to let you know, I filmed this video in natural lighting, so there's going to be quite a few lighting changes. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, just so you know in advance. I do like my highlight quite low because I have quite an oval face and it makes my face look a little bit rounder and it just accentuates the highlight a little bit more. I'm now going in with my Bare Kissed Illuminator in Pompeii by Sleek and applying that to the highest points of my cheeks just to accentuate my highlighter when I add it. To set my concealer, I'm going to use my Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder in number 3 medium just to set um, all the areas I have just highlighted. 
I like this powder because it's really really soft on the skin, it doesn't leave any flashback and it was literally like £7, so it's a bargain. I am now contouring with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Dark Cocoa and using a stippling brush just to blend that out. Now adding some more of that powder under my cheeks just to sharpen up my contour. And now just brush all that powder away. So now to set my contour I'm going in with the sleek dark contour palette. I absolutely love this contour palette out of all the ones I own and it's so cheap as well. Um, I find it's a really natural colour and looks amazing on all black skin tones. I'm now adding the sleek blush to my cheeks in Sunrise and I love it because it's so natural and it's a little bit shimmery as well and it's not too pigmented so it just really goes with this natural kind of look. I'm now just using the LA Girl Concealer as a base for my eyeshadow because it is a matte finish, I do find it helps keep my eyeshadow on for longer. I'm now going to use my BH Cosmetics Party Girl Palette and this warm tone brown and blend that all over my lid. I'm then going to use this darker brown from the palette and just blend that on the outer corner. Once I'm happy with blending on the outer line, I just use a bigger blending brush with no product on and just make sure I blend those two colours together properly. I'm now using a small pencil brush, mixing the two colours that I used on the lid and blending them underneath my lower lash line. I forgot to show you guys but I am using the Kiko 30 day extension daily treatment mascara along my top and bottom lashes. I'm now using my sleek cold eyeliner pencil in 123 and using it as a lip liner because I love the colour, it gives me a really nice natural lip line and it's not too dark or too light for me and I just use that to outline my lips. I'm now going to use one of my favourite lip products at the moment, it's the Le Splash Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick in Irresistible and I'm going to use this to fill in the inside of my lips. I love this product because it's so soft and velvety and it's really smooth and easy to blend. I'm now going over my lips with my sleek high shine lip gloss in the colour Bare and just using that to blend all the colours together. I'm now applying my number 79 Remy Natural Lashes. Um, I'm really bad at applying lashes on camera guys, I can't even lie. Um, so I won't really be applying them on camera, but hopefully one day I'll become a pro and we'll be able to apply them so you guys can see properly. I really like these lashes because they're quite dramatic but not too over the top and they were literally like £2 from the hair shop, so that is amazing. Now this is my favourite product out of everything that I've used in this tutorial. It's my Makeup Revolutions Highlighter in Golden Lights. And girl, this highlighter is life. Everybody needs this highlighter. It will leave you shining brighter than any of Rihanna's diamonds. I'm not even joking. And it was literally like three pounds. Three pounds! This highlighter is everything. And that is it you guys, my balling on a budget makeup tutorial. All the products I used are less than £10 individually. So I really hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will be back very soon. Thank you guys for watching and have a good day. Bye!